Hey, it's going on YouTube, so you know it's best here. Logitech just recently held a press event going over their brand new Google TV device called the Logitech Review. If you don't know what Google TV is, it's basically bringing the web to your TV, but in a different way than what others have tried in the past. But I already did a video going over Google TV itself, so I'll put the link up here in one of these corners up there. And you can actually click that and go um, see what the Google TV is, first of all. And I'll also put a link at that video that'll link you right back to this video in case you want to go see that first before I start talking about this product. But anyway, if you already know what it is, let's go ahead and jump right into it the logitech review uh it's coming it's going to be i think the first google tv device to hit the states here and it's going to cost 299 dollars but if you're on Dish Network or your Dish Network customer, it only costs you $179. It worked out a nice little deal there. But for each of those, um, once you pay those prices, you'll get a keyboard with an integrated integrated uh, touch panel on the right side of it. And it looks pretty sweet. Hopefully, you can use that with the uh, actual computer itself. And also, you're going to HDMI cable as well, which the Apple TV needs an HDMI cable but doesn't include one in the box. Kind of stupid, right? Uh, but also, there are going to be um, some free Logitech Harmony applications that are available for the iPhone, iPod Touch plus Android as well. And so those will just act like mini controllers as well, just like the Apple remote control um, works as well. So you'll be able to pull up the keyboard on that and insert and everything from your cell phone or your MP3 player as well. Um, and also there are, are a lot of different accessories that Logitech is uh, announcing for too. They have a Logitech um, webcam, which is a $149 option. And that'll actually allow you to do video calling right in your living room from another Logitech review to another one. But also if you have any computer, whether it's Mac or a PC, running the Logitech video, HD software so you have a webcam you're running that software too you'll be able to talk to somebody that's, that's using the Logitech review in the living room as well so you'll be able to have some communications and also on the uh, little camera itself which is a pretty it's like a pretty nice size camera uh, it'll actually have a little missed call indicator as well just in case you missed the call I think it's on the camera itself on the light but I think it's also on the uh, TV itself it'll, it'll show you where you missed the call so that could be pretty cool um, and also there's another uh, de novo I believe that's how you said mini controller which is kind of like a little flip control here has a little screen has a little keyboard on there um, once I actually get that in hand I'll talk more about that uh, but they're gonna have that as well I forgot how much that costs yeah that's gonna cost hundred and twenty nine dollars so 130 bucks for that and also there's gonna be a media player application that allows you to play uh, content that's on a hard drive I think on your computer or anywhere you got a hard drive and it actually able to use that media player application you'll be able to access that information and do it so Logitech revealed a lot of cool things with this uh, this will be shipping by the end of this month and so if you really just want to get the uh, Logitech review plus the, the webcam, that's going to be about, what, $450. That's a lot of money. Um, but we'll see if this actually worth the money. So I will be getting my hands on one of these soon, and I'll do a full in-depth review for you guys. But let me know what you think about this, this or the Apple TV, or is it too soon to see? Uh, leave a comment down below and let us see what that is and start that debate up. And thanks for watching this video, and I will catch you later. Peace.